Hello, and this is my review for 88 Minutes. Now, this is a film with Robert De Niro in, uh, he's the main character. <sighs> for me, it wasn't as good as it might look like uh, on the box, so to speak. Um, I've caught up with this, it's from 2008. Uh, I've never actually done a, a YouTube review of it. I did though, a written review of it uh, around that time, though. So a brief synopsis of the film is a uh, Robert De Niro plays a character who uh, profiles serial killers and he's made quite a big uh, deal out of it and a lot of money and he basically is following the case of this certain serial killer who does absolutely horrific, horrific, macabre, uh, soul destroying kind of um, uh, tortures before he kills the people, which is quite disturbing to watch actually. A lot of it is kind of panned away, but it doesn't take much of an act of imagination to realise what the, what's actually happening. Um, for me, not the best film. I probably wouldn't bother watching it. Uh, if I had uh, known what it was like when I watched it, I probably wouldn't have watched it anyway, because it's not my kind of film. Even though I like kind of uh, that kind of film where it's a uh, you know analytical and a bit of a thriller it's it's not really great and I think De Niro isn't that good in it um, which is quite a big shocker but he's actually a little bit weak um, in it and I think it's it's all held together by him rather than actually the, the quality of the film so I'm only going to give this film Three out of five. Now that sounds quite generous, actually, and it is because there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just my personal opinion. Obviously, it's an okay film. It's just not my kettle of fish, and to be honest, it's so macabre. It's it's just kind of ruins the pleasantness of the film for me. I hope you enjoyed this review, and please don't forget to subscribe or rate and comment below. Thank you.